Feliz Año Nuevo, que Dios los bendiga, es el comienzo del 2023, qué emocionante, yo estoy emocionado, tú estás emocionado por el nuevo año, espero que hoy el Señor ministre la esperanza, la expectativa en tu corazón para lo que viene. Mi nombre es Caleb, soy el pastor principal aquí en la iglesia de New Life. Estoy contento de que volvimos. Estuvimos en Tajo por tres días, dijimos vamos a regresar el viernes porque... There's going to be a big iba a haber una gran tormenta que venía y me alegra que lo hicimos porque no creo que hubiéramos podido llegar si nos hubiéramos venido ayer. Es bueno estar aquí con ustedes, como saben, hoy estamos reunidos a las 10 de la mañana, pero la próxima semana estaremos otra vez en nuestro horario de las 9 de la mañana y las 11 de la mañana, pero qué bueno tenerlos aquí hoy. Y si eres un invitado aquí en New Life, estamos muy emocionados de tenerlos acá hoy. Eso, esperamos que sea una bendición para ti también. Bien. Hoy el mensaje que traigo en realidad se trata de un, 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 nuevo, un nuevo momento de resetear. Hay aquí que ha llamado a Apple o algún lugar así y les dicen qué hacer para, para el cuidado técnico. Y solamente preguntan, ¿lo prendiste y lo apagaste? Y eso es algo que en realidad con frecuencia una computadora tal vez se va a ser reajustada y cuando uno la enciende, la, la apaga y la vuelve a prender, de repente todo está funcionando bien. Hay momentos en nuestra vida que necesitamos hacer eso, un reseteo para realinearnos. La forma que tú lo quieras pensar, no quiero hablar de un quiropráctico, sé que algunos de ustedes lo piensan que están alineados o cosas pasan en nuestra vida y hay un botón, hay un momento en donde todo tiene que volver a donde tenemos que estar. Y ese es el tipo de mensaje que creo que el Señor nos está dando hoy. Como yo creo, Johnny está compartiendo, hay notas en línea, pero el tema de hoy es perseguir. Todos digan perseguir, perseguir. Estamos hablando de esta palabra. Es una palabra clave para el año. Vamos a orar una vez más. Una su corazón conmigo. Padre, gracias por esta mañana, por tu presencia en este lugar. Señor, hemos orado que tú vengas y estés aquí, porque donde dos o más están unidos, ahí estás tú. Señor, tu palabra declara que nosotros, que tú coronas el año con tus bienes y tus nubes destilan cruzura. Lord, even the hard hasta en los lugares más difíciles, Señor, today, como vemos en los testimonios de hoy, esos lugares difíciles, Lord, Señor, tú los cambias. El, el valle del llanto, tú lo cambias en un llanto, un valle de manantiales. Y yo declaro tu abundancia sobre este año, tu bondad sobre este año, tu bendición sobre cada persona que está viendo desde la casa y aquí también, sobre nuestros niños que están abajo, sobre nuestros jóvenes, nuestras familias, nuestros matrimonios. Señor, declaro tu bendición hoy para aquellos que están pensando sobre el matrimonio yo declaro tu bendición sobre aquellos que están solteros Señor y que están preguntando sobre lo que tú tienes para ellos declaro tu bendición Señor para aquellos que están en un lugar de dificultad económica yo declaro una bendición hoy tú coronas el año con tu bien Señor aquellos que están en un lugar de abundancia Señor te doy gracias Señor y pido y te doy gracias de que tú multiplicas aún eso yo oro esta mañana Señor, una oración de gratitud, porque tú coronas el año con todo en abundancia y estamos a la expectativa de lo que tú vas a hacer hablando a través de tus palabras en los minutos que tenemos contigo hoy. En el nombre de Jesús, amén. So, pursuit y perseguir has, a, a word that's es una been in palabra que ha estado en mi corazón por un tiempo, lo he escuchado en el grupo de hombres, lo he escuchado en estudios, en conversaciones. But I, I'm not just want to talk about pero no pursuit, quiero hablar solamente de perseguir, sino perseguir no es It una palabra neutra, no es una palabra pasiva, es lo opuesto de la pasividad. It is a proactive es una palabra It is proactiva, a es un verbo, pursuit. perseguir. We're not just talking no solamente about a estamos journey, hablando but we're talking de un camino, the, the estamos hablando de, es, de la actividad de estar en ese camino. Y voy a hablar de cómo nosotros hemos sido invitados a seguir al Señor esta mañana. Y mientras hacemos eso, quiero que really sepas algo muy importante. Y es lo siguiente. Dios el Padre, Dios el Hijo, Dios el Espíritu Santo, la Trinidad, 
Él te ha estado persiguiendo a ti toda tu vida, toda tu vida. Cuando nosotros hablamos de, nuestra, de perseguirlo a Él, es como esa escritura, esa escritura que dice, nosotros lo amamos a Él porque Él nos amó a nosotros primero. Lo perseguimos a Él porque Él nos persiguió primero. God came a Dios long vino way in his pursuit lejos of us. God became a man in the person of Jesus Christ and he came to pursue us and Dios he said, I love you. I'm not going to shout from a distance. I'm going to come up close. I'm going to give my life for you. I'm going to pay the price so we can be connected forever in eternal life. Jesus, he, he, was, he was sent by the Father in, in pursuit of us. You know, when the Cuando Bible la says dice, in Deuteronomy 6, in the great Shema passage seis, of Deuteronomy 6, you shall, hear, O Israel, the Lord your God is one God, and you shall love the Lord God with all Señor of your heart, corazón. soul, mind, strength. There's a bunch of different words there mente, all describe every part of us, right? Todo eso una parte you de shall love the Lord with, in all these ways. Señor Sometimes you look at that and say, wow, that's a really extreme thing. Pensamos, But it's actually not extrema, when we understand no that God loves us with all of his Dios heart, soul, and mind, and strength. And he's looking for people that will ser. love him back in that way. The Bible says in John 4, 23 and 24, the Father Is seeking worshipers. He's looking for worshipers. Que está and he's looking for people that will pursue him in the way that he pursued us. And when I talk about pursuit today, we are not talking about, you know, like striving. We're not talking about striving. I don't know if when you start hearing about no sé having si a better prayer life or, or different kinds of things, you start thinking about, oh, 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 you start getting pensar, like anxious, oh, you start feeling ansiedad, like striving, oh, like, I don't make this happen. Oh my goodness, and here's resolutions, and I'm scared to make one because I always break them, and then I feel like a failure, and it's terrible, and I'm, I'm not trying to get you this morning to make some kind of New Year's resolution. I want you to have your heart positioned in a way that it's activated in your pursuit of the Lord and aware of his pursuit of you. Can you say amen? So when we talk about pursuit, it doesn't cancel Sabbath rest. We learned in Cayo's recent message a couple of weeks ago that God is with us in the waiting, that there's an active seeking and connecting with the Lord in the waiting. En la esperanza. But let's talk en about this word today. Jesus Jesús, to the 12 disciples el, el and llamado de Jesús de los doce discípulos y a nosotros, a ti y a mí, es That's de seguirlos. Esa es una palabra de acción, de obediencia. Es una palabra, el seguir es una palabra de movimiento. Es una palabra de relación porque significa acompañar. Jesús dijo, ven a los discípulos, a nosotros, ven y camina con nosotros, conmigo. Estemos en el mismo camino juntos. And in movement and in connection, there's learning and there's life change that take place in his presence and in keeping company with Jesus. In the action, in the movement, there's life change. In the action, in the movement, in the pursuit, there's learning. We change. We become more like him. Psalm 63, verse 8, talks about this word follow, and it says, my soul follows close behind you, and your right hand upholds me. You see, this pursuit of the Lord, this All the way close to the Lord isn't just in our own strength. It's his right hand carrying us in those moments. I love what the, how the King James says it. My soul follows hard after you. He's looking for those that will pursue Él está buscando aquellos que lo quieran perseguir. Second Chronicles 69 says the eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole earth. Contempla Everyone's toda la tierra para mostrar su poder a favor de los que tienen corazón perfecto para con Él. Dice que sus ojos contemplan toda la tierra para cada buscando esto. Él quiere mostrarse fuertemente para aquellos cuyo corazón es leal a Él. Otro traducción dice, Otra 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 traducción d
para dentro de su again. corazón que se ha completo para dar. Y tenemos muchas de esas entregas en la vida mientras caminamos con el Señor. No es solamente una cosa que vas a hacer en la vida o entregar. No es solamente tu bautismo. Hay un lugar de entrega y él está emocionado de poder entrar fuertemente a un lugar a, en los corazones de aquellos que están entregados a él. Yo creo que tú y que yo quiero que su pueblo en el norte de la Bahía y 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 en el norte de la
but I'm just going to no read this. Follow along. It'll be on the screen. Have your Bible with you. Pantalla. Anybody still bring their old, like, real paper Bible with you? It's okay if it's on the phone. I read it on my phone, iglesia. too. But, you know, it's just, you know, maybe your New Year's resolution is to bring my Bible to church. I'm going to read my actual Bible. Pastor Caleb, Pastor I don't know Caleb, what Bible no to get. There's so cuál, many versions. Cuál versión de la Biblia comprar? The best Bible to get is the version you will read la because you just need to be in the Word. Es la que tú okay. vas a leer tú que estar en la I read the New King James, si yo, the authorized version. I'm just kidding. Um, it's a uh, whole other topic. Topic. Matthew 6.25, Jesus says, Therefore, Jesús I dice, say to you, tanto, os digo, I want you to make this Quiero que hagan esto like personal, porque Jesús se lo está diciendo a ti. Por you, lo tanto, os digo, no os afanéis por vuestra vida, qué habéis de comer o qué habéis de beber, ni por vuestro, body, ni por vuestro cuerpo, qué habéis de vestir, o cuánto peso tienes que perder, en qué dieta vas a estar. Is not life more than food no and the body es la more vida than más que la comida y el cuerpo Look más que la ropa. Miren los, nor, nor las aves del campo, cómo crecen, no trabajan ni hilan, pero ni que aún nuestro Padre Celestial nos da todo. Y dicen, no somos nosotros, no tenemos más valor. ¿Cuál de nosotros podría tener un cúbito más? In other words, how do you get through worry, through anxiety, through general anxiousness and being stressed out can actually grow? You're going to grow through that. You're going to add something to your life by, by stress. We believe that. We believe a lot of times we get... This little ring in this microphone, if you can just find that, I don't know. A lot of times we just, I don't know if it's going to help. No sé, sure a lot of times we get our sense of significance nuestra, nuestro from how busy we are. And having a full schedule. And that's actually a counterfeit significance. We're stressed una, out, we're worried, we're doing all this kind of stuff. We're spinning our wheels, doing a lot of different things, but we're missing Pero the important no thing. We're missing the one thing. We're missing the ultimate uh, thing that the Lord has called us to. And so, entonces, let's, let's go on here. Which of you, by worrying, can add one cubit to his stature? You might just need to take the general volume estatura. down, buddy. Thanks. Verse 28. Versículo 28. So why do you worry about clothing? Hmm. Consider the lilies of the field, how they sobre grow. La ropa. They neither Consider toil nor spin. And yet I no say to you that Nila, even Solomon in all his glory Salomón, was not arrayed con toda su gloria, like gloria, one of these. Now if God si so clothes the grass campo, of the field, es, which today is and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, will he Dios not much more sí. clothe you, no hará o mucho you, of little faith? Verse 31, therefore, do no not worry. Tell somebody, help me out. Tell somebody, do not worry. I mean, there are just like some of the best songs ever written are about this. Do not worry. Do not worry saying, what shall we eat or what shall we drink or what shall we wear? For after all these things, the Gentiles seek For your heavenly Father knows de that you need all these things. Todas estas cosas. But Pero instead, en vez, do this instead. Esto, What is en it? Vez. Seek first the Busca kingdom of God and his righteousness Dios, and all these things shall be added to you. A ti. What Jesus Lo que Jesús is declaring here and speaking aquí, here aquí, actually has a, will help us with our mental health in a very large way. And if we will grande, take this priority and put it into place in our lives, it's going to take our internal world, our overall wellness, our mental interno, health, our emotional, our emotional health, our spiritual health, our physical health. Spiritual health. health. It's going to bring everything into alignment if we will learn to do this. So let's look at this verse a little bit. It says, first of all, seek. Now, seek is a word of pursuit. It's a word of pursuit. But it's not just seek. It says to seek first. Seek first. That means first in time or place. Basically, this is talking about our yes to God taking priority over our yes to other good 
but tomando secondary prioridad things. A, en vez de decirle sí a otras Seek cosas. First. Primero Make dice, busca a tu prioridad. Tu Make lugar, it your priority. You know, a priority is the, is the fact or the condition el, of being regarded or treated as more important. Más Seek the kingdom busca el reino like it's more important. Because it is. Es. It's the right... A priority is the la right to take precedence or to proceed before others, like when you get the priority line at the airport through TSA, and you hear the angels singing, ah. somehow they just let you go through the TSA line before everyone else, and you don't know why, you didn't even have like, you weren't even applied for the TSA pass or anything, it just happened, and you're like, Wow, that felt really good. I got let in front of everybody else. Or when you're like number one in the boarding and they, you get to get on and get seated and you know your bag is going to have a place and it's not going to have to be in front of your feet for eight hours on the plane. Oh, I love that so much. I also love it when you get on the plane and there's like empty seats next to you. Like, thank you, Jesus. I'll admit, I'll admit to this. I'll admit to like see the door about to close and people walking down the aisle and actually praying. Oh, God, Oh, señor, por favor. <laughs> Bless them. I'd love to know them, but can I please have this seat so I can sleep? Okay, so um, the priority. It's saying do this with the kingdom of God. Put the kingdom of God in the priority lane of your life. It gets first. It gets put first. It gets treated like it's the most important. It gets, it gets prioritized over everything else. And it's first in time or in place. So it's saying, I'm going to create time and I'm going to create space for what's important. And actually by being in a worship, in a, in a collective worship gathering together, that's one way that you this morning are saying, I'm going to create space and time in my life to seek first the kingdom. And that's a good thing. But it's not the only way we do that. It's not the only way we seek first the kingdom of God. De buscar el reino del Señor. This is saying, I'm not going to let Esto my dice, life no voy a dejar que mi vida be consumed sea with the secondary. Con I'm not going to allow no business to give me a false sense of significance. I'm going to put the one importante. thing above voy a tomar all la cosa of the other things. Que está sobre I'm going to say that again. But this is saying, Esto seek dice, first the kingdom of God. I'm going to put the one thing above Señor, all other things. Other things. Una cosa sobre Seeking todas first las the demás. kingdom of God Buscar is not going to be a thing, but it's going to be the thing. It's going to be the first thing. It's going to take precedence and priority over all of the other things. things. Jesus is not Jesus saying the other things are evil. Cosas He's saying you need to stop Él worrying about and stressing about doing all those things and, and letting that take away your peace and take away your life and cause you to worry. And instead, I'm calling you into this place of seeking the king and his kingdom first as a, as, as a priority in your life. It's like what David said in Psalm 132. I will not give sleep to my eyes or slumber to my eyelids until I find a place for the Lord, a dwelling place for the mighty one of Jacob. He said, I am going to seek first the kingdom. I'm not going to go to bed. I'm not going to do all these things. I'm not going to create, you know, go and pursue all my, my own desires. I'm going to seek him first. Seek first. Seek what first? Seek the kingdom of God. What is the kingdom of God? When we're talking about seek first the kingdom of God, it's his rule. It's his reign in our lives and over our lives. It's his influence in our lives and over our lives. Seeking first the kingdom of God is, is, in that, is connecting with the Lord. It, you, to seek the kingdom, you have to seek the king. That's like innate and included in this. I'm seeking the king. I'm seeking the Lord. I'm seeking his face. And the king that rules over the kingdom. Now that kingdom extends inside of me and that influence comes inside of me and there's something that happens as I seek the king and his kingdom. It means time in his presence. It means meditating on his word. It means seeking him in worship and in, in prayer. It means doing this as a matter of intentional pursuit and as a rule of life as opposed to just maybe it'll happen if I have time. There's this principle in scripture about giving God our first fruits. We talk about that sometimes with finances and, and those kinds of things. I'm going to bring the first fruits. 
not the leftovers. But this also applies in other areas of Esto our lives. Para otras áreas de it vida. applies with aplica our time. It applies, it, it, it applies to this seeking first the kingdom. Primero, truth. Reino, la verdad en eso. I'm not just going to no pray if I have a little sí, few minutes left over after I binge watch this whole series today. Hola, Hi, everybody. Hola a todos. I'm not going to give God my love. No Don't you love it? I, no I love this encanta. about Sunday. Here we are on Sunday, sobre January 1, 2023. Aquí estamos, Happy New Year. Enero I love 2023. it. Feliz año. Me encanta. Sunday is the first day of the week, not the last day of the week. Let's say that again. Sunday is the first day of the week. We're here giving God the first fruits of our week. We're saying, God, we're giving you this Estamos first fruits and we're inviting you in to the week. Lord, I'm giving you these first moments of the day. Now, you might not be a morning person like, Pastor Kilo, don't, don't call me to pray in the morning. Okay, I won't do that, but pray in the evening. Have a time for you can, and a place that you create space in your world to connect with the Lord. Matthew 6.33 in the Passion Translation says, So above all, constantly seek God's kingdom and his righteousness, then all the less important things will be given to you abundantly. He didn't say they weren't important, he said they were less important. He didn't say where you sleep, what you're going to wear, and where you're going to live, what all those kinds of aren't important. He just said they're less important, and they're going to be added to you. So, what are we learning from Matthew 6? We're learning that the more we give ourselves to lesser pursuits, the more anxiety will increase. But the more we seek the king and his kingdom, the more peace we have. Our peace level will increase. Plus, our Father adds to us what we need. Our world needs peace. The kingdom of God. We're talking about seeking first the kingdom. This is the fruit of the kingdom. It says in Romans 14, the kingdom of God is righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. When we're carrying the kingdom, we're carrying righteousness, peace, and joy. Those are things that our world needs, all of those things in a big way. Y gozo. Estas son todas cosas que Cook necesitamos. Psalm 34, dice, says, I sought the Lord. We're talking about pursue. I pursued the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. How many of my fears? All my fears. Psalm 34, 10. Young lions lack and suffer hunger, but those who seek the Lord shall not lack any good thing. And in this place, of peace and joy and righteousness and in this place of kingdom alignment and seeking first the kingdom as a priority I am at my best I become a blessing I am now walking in wisdom and in love and I'm bringing heaven's solution into earth's challenges I have something of the kingdom that's growing in me and the world that I am cultivating within me as I seek first the kingdom becomes extended around me and now there's something that God's doing not just in me, but through me because I've chosen to seek first the king and his kingdom. It starts to influence the world around me. My family, my spouse, my children, my parents, my friends, my community, my business, my workplace, my employees, my boss, my team. My career, Mi carrera, all these todas things start to get benefited because I'm seeking first the kingdom. I want to give you an example, an Old Testament example of this pretty well-known scripture read through the Old Testament. Testament You've probably seen this. 1 Samuel chapter 3, we're going to read Samuel, verses 6 and 8. 3. Verse 6 and 8. This is an example of seeking first the kingdom. Capítulo 30. It says in verse 6, Now David was greatly distressed. Both what Dave shared today and what Johnny shared today talk about moments like this. 
I appreciate their real life. Right? que ellos sean like, reales, hay real talk, it's real life. Este, la vida real. The Bible does la not Biblia shy away from these no moments. tiene miedo de estar presente en estos momentos. Now David was greatly Ahora, David distressed. Why was David se angustió really mucho, distressed? pero ¿por qué estaba angustiado? Él era un rey, ¿por qué estaba preocupado? He was anointed to be king, but he wasn't sitting on the rey, pero todavía no está sentado en el trono, pero dice que el pueblo hablaba de apedrarlo, pues todo el pueblo estaba en amargura de alma, cada uno por sus hijos y por sus hijas. What happened? Lo que David was caught in the middle. David, he was faking to like be a part of the Philistines and be like, uh, you know, an add-on part of their army. But then when it came, they were going to march against Israel. David was like, they're like, you can't come with us. And plus David wouldn't have gone against Israel anyway. But you can't come against us. And so Entonces, they made him turn back, and by the time they got back to the town they were staying in, a place called Ziklag, uh, this other ciudad, army, sorry, this is a little bit of a drama here, but this other army, the Amalekites, had come and kidnapped their children, kidnapped their wives, burned their village, taken all of their belongings, and taken off. So David shows up back in this place with 600 men. They, they were kind of like a people without a country. The Philistines wouldn't let them be with them. The Amalekites had come and taken everything. Thing. They're on the run from Israel, and here they are feeling isolated and now feeling like everything that was beautiful in their life was taken from them. And David was greatly distressed because his men are like, this is David's fault and we should just stone it. You and I would both be even more greatly distressed than David was in this moment. Greatly distressed. But what does David do in that moment? Let's keep reading. But David strengthened himself in the Lord his God. Everyone say, but. Everyone say, instead do this. But seek ye first the kingdom of God. But David strengthened himself. Have you ever felt like, man, I'm too stressed out to pray? I'm too anxious to seek the Lord. You weren't this anxious. 600 men that want to kill you in that moment anxious? I don't think so. Now, I'm not minimizing your own anxiety. What I'm wanting to do is empower you to realize that in the most dire circumstances, you are powerful and you have a choice. And you can say, Pedro, but I will choose to strengthen myself in the Lord in this moment. And this word strengthen is very powerful. We'll get to it. Then it goes on in verse 8. Let's get verse 7. Verse 8. Eight, the first part. So David parte, then David inquired of the Lord, shall I pursue this señor, troop, this army? Shall I verdad? overtake them? David makes two powerful decisions in these verses. Number one, the first powerful decision is that David encouraged himself in the Lord. We're talking about seeking first the kingdom. These, it involves two powerful decisions. The first decision is that he encouraged himself, he strengthens himself in the Lord. He doesn't react, he doesn't get defensive, he doesn't try to explain or debate or argue or plead for his life with his men, even though he is affected by the same circumstances, even though his wife and his kids and his belongings are also all taken. He's also carrying the responsibility of leadership, but he refuses to wallow in the misery of the situation. And while everyone else is grieving, and while everyone else is greatly distressed, David, the man who is after God's heart, realizes that he has a choice, that no one can take that choice from him, that no one can strip that decision away from him. No matter what's going on around you, I can still resolve within me to lay a hold of the Lord. That's what he shows us there. He seeks first the kingdom. And strengthen or encourage, it means to fasten upon, to seize. He decides to come into God's presence, to stand on his promises. And in that place, he was supernaturally encouraged and strengthened. That's decision number one. David decided, I will encourage myself. I'm going to strengthen myself in the Lord. Boy, no one else around here is going to strengthen me. These circumstances sure aren't encouraging. And um, he's literally smelling the smoke of the fire burning his own home and village. He's like, but I choose right now in this place to seek the Lord. Hey, do you remember when in Santa Rosa all the fires happened and they had those t-shirts we all started to wear? You know, the love in the air is thicker than the smoke. David was like, 
que I el, the smoke, el but amor y la aire es más fuerte que el humo. Es un amor que tenemos el Señor. Dice que God's love is enough for me. I'm going to lay a hold of Him. His presence is here. It seems like everybody else has forsaken me, but God has not forsaken me. I'm telling you, you can make that same powerful decision. You have it inside of you. Greater is He that is in you than He that is in the world. You have it in you to make this choice in your life today, right now, tomorrow, Monday, when something goes wrong at work, Tuesday, when you're back in school and you're like, oh, I'm back in school. You can encourage yourself in the Lord. You have it in you. The next time something comes up that bums you out, rather than like getting into self-pity, rather than self-medicating, rather than getting into a sinful pattern and getting into a place where you're like, well, I'm just going to go into this thing because what's what's the use? You have it in you to encourage yourself. And don't forget, there's a lot of other people around you that also want to encourage you. Number two. The second powerful decision, La David inquired of the Lord. Decisión más difícil. Punto número dos. David, David inquired of the Lord. Señor. So we could say, step, decision number one, decision step one, was just being in this presence, seeking him first. Step, step two su reino. was seeking direction. Lord, Lord, dos, what do you want me to do? Señor, what is the next step that I should take? Both of those Ambos are a part of seeking first son the parte de buscar primero el reino. Step one, Paso he drew uno, near. Él se Step two, Paso dos, he got directions. Tomo we have to be connected. Que estar have conectados. you ever tried to hear someone from the other room while the vacuum cleaner is running or like your, your little robot vacuum cleaner is running and the dishwasher is running and the dog's barking and Alexa is talking and they're trying to talk to you from the other room but you can't really hear them very well. And it just kind of sounds like noise. Como First, you've got to get Primero, close. You've got to get face to face. Adiós, Especially when there's a lot of other noise. You've got to connect and then communicate. You've got to connect and then communicate. David expected God to guide him in this situation. Those that are led by the Spirit are the sons of God. He was in the presence of the Lord. He felt the grace of God. He felt the strength of God. And he didn't just say, that's enough. He said, now, Lord, what do you want me to do? Should I pursue? Should I get after this army? Should I overtake? And in this place, in this place of connection, in this place of God's presence, the word of the Lord came to him. And I just want you to know that those, Jesus said, my sheep hear my voice. Voice. You Mis also have the ability inside of you to hear a word from God, to hear encouragement from God, to receive a word from the Lord through another person or through this message. There's something inside of you, your spirit man, that has the capacity to hear from God, to get a word from God. And when that word comes, everything begins to change and shift. For Samuel 30, verse 8, the second half. I'm a little excited. Estoy I'm emocionado, lo sé. Thank you, thank gracias, you. Gracias, gracias. <laughs> He answered him. Dios le contestó. This is the Lord answering David. Dios le contestó a David. Pursue. Perseguir. For you shall surely overtake Porque them. Porque tú and seguramente los fail, encontrarás y recover sin all. duda lo recuperarás todo. David's the only one David getting this word. I don't know when the other guys no stopped deciding to stone him and started de, de and, and decided de instead to go with him. I don't know when that y, happened. Y se fueron con él. I just know that when Yo one person gets a word, palabra, when faith comes into the room because salón, of the word from the Lord, hay una palabra del Señor, all I know is it has it, the ability, it just changes es que the atmosphere. El ambiente, cambia la atmosfera. Even in a moment. Well, I don't know when these guys decided to not to stone him and instead to run for miles and miles and miles and miles. But something changed in them. The worship team comes. <clears throat> when David encouraged himself in the Lord, it gave him the proximity to hear from the Lord, but not just the, the closeness to hear but the strength to act We're talking about pursuing the Lord today. We're talking about seeking first the kingdom as the number one. 
And out of that, there are other pursuits and assignments the Lord gives us. Pursuing after these Amalekites to get back their families and their belongings became an outflow. Became, it was connected to pursuing the Lord because it was an assignment from the Lord. See, there's going to be things that the Lord leads us into and we'll be successful in those things because it's, it's an assignment from the Lord. So today, this simple kind of reset message este mensaje de resetear, de reiniciar, is about activating se pursuit in our hearts. Perseguir en nuestros corazones. It's about letting 2023 be a year of pursuit. In Philippians 3.13, Apostle Paul writes, I do not El count Apostle myself to have apprehended, Pablo but one thing dice, I do, forgetting I, those I things which are behind, and reaching forward to those things which are ahead. It's all language of pursuit. Verse 14, I press. Look at that. Reaching, pressing. I press towards the goal for the prize of the upper call of God in Christ Jesus. The life of faith, the life of Jesus followers is the life of pursuit. We talk about Christianity or whatever we want to say about it. I was talking about here being a believer, being a disciple, being a Jesus person. It is a life of pursuit. I want you to think about this phrase as we wrap up today. And I want you to write this Quiero in your own notes or write it in the app notes, notes whatever you've got. Just, I want you to ponder this. Put that up there on the screen. That next Quiero point there. In 2023, la pantalla, en el 2023, I am leaving behind the point. Maybe something today that you need to do. I'm sure Estoy there's something que hay you algo que tienes que dejar aquí en el altar, entregar. Paul, y para Pablo, said, él dijo, I'm forgetting those things that are behind me. He was even saying, all of my accomplishments and things I've already done, I'm not going to rest on my laurels and just be like, hey, I've already done it, but I don't need to do anything. And he's like, no, 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 no. I'm going to let this, this Yo voy a dejar que este perseguir attitude. I'm going to let that continue, even though I'm mature, even though I've planted all these churches and reached all these nations and raised up all these teams. I, I'm, I'm not done going after the Lord. Tell somebody you're not done yet. Tell somebody else the best is yet to come. You're not done. Who said you were done? Who said you were done? You, oh, you said you were done. I see. But you're not done to the Lord. Pero says no you're hasta que Dios diga que Paul was able to say at the Pablo end of his life, I finished my, I've run my race, I finished carrera, my course. <sighs> There's going to be a time where the Lord says, Well done. Decir, where he says, I say you're done. Cuando well Dios done, good diga, and faithful servant. Yo digo que and we really want the trabajo, good, and we really want the faithful to be a part of that. But as believers, we don't get to say, like, That's for somebody. That's for somebody. It really is for somebody. Just retract that statement from the Lord. Solo toma, on January 1st, 2023. If it's not good, it's not the end. If it's not good, it's not the end. Because he works all things together for good. Come on, somebody. Here's another thing okay, you can think about as we come to the Lord's pensar, table today. For me, para mí, seeking first the kingdom means prioritizing what is that word for you? Is it time with God? Is it time with Dios, prayer? Es oración, worship, a small group. O alabar, What's that area of growth where you, de you, can, you can put the kingdom first in your life? Al reino What's that space in your world? On a daily basis, you can open up and give to the Lord. I love looking at how people connect with God in Scripture. I love it. Daniel, three times a day, opened his window and prayed. I don't know how long it was. I don't know if it was like an hour, if it was like 10 minutes. We just know that he had this like consistency in his life. I'm going to seek first the kingdom. And he had a lot of other responsibilities. We look at the life of Jesus. He went to a solitary place to pray. There's just some people in the Bible that are very powerful. You guys can go ahead and pass out the elements, actually. Thank you. That'd be great. I appreciate that. Thank you, team. 
When we look at people Cuando like buscamos y vemos Daniel, a las personas como Isaiah, Daniel e Isaías Paul, Jesus, y Jesús, our Lord and Savior, nuestro Señor y Salvador, I think we can all look at them and say, wow, wow, they were really, really, really busy people. Wow, era gente bien ocupada. But they modeled Pero seeking first ellos modelaban the el buscar primero el reino de Dios. And I know, y yo I know, sé, mom, dad, you're up mamá, night, papá, que tú estás despierto a la medianoche like, cambiando pañales, que no has dormido, que no sabes si vas a tener otro week. tipo de vida. No puedes ver hacia adelante I ahorita. Y yo sé que algunos de ustedes están lidiando con retos que son bastante extraordinarios. Health challenges, health challenges Retos de salud, one, de alguien amado que te ayuda, que puede ser abrumante. Get that, but it's not just important no es that you know that I get that. It's important that you know the apoyo, Lord gets that. And He wants y to meet you in this place in a greater way. I understand that you may be like, I feel greatly distressed in my life. It's not a physical battle with an army like David, no or it's not a conflict with Física como la de David. Like David had with my own family, but I feel this Pero distress. Decir, I'm, I'm here to tell you today that you have the powerful, a ti que tú tienes la habilidad poderosa dentro de ti para escoger perseguir al Señor para darte ánimo en el Señor para buscar al Señor así que mientras venimos a la mesa de la Santa Cena hoy I believe there are some clear que things cosas that the Lord claras que el Señor está diciéndonos que te a esta mesa leave this puedes dejar todo lo demás atrás and as we receive strength in our communion, we can say, I'm going after this. Podemos You're watching decir, from okay, home today. I, I want to encourage you to get up, go to your cupboard, get some bread, get a cracker, get some juice. You don't grape juice, substitute it for something. I want you to do communion with us from home today. Hacer, lo que sea que well. lo tengas que sustituir, sustituir yeah, para que puedas hacer la comunión con nosotros esta mañana. Tomar la Santa Cena. Never forget the story of Brother Yun. Se acuerdan de la historia de prison, el, el hermano China, Yun en la prisión en China después de haber ayunado por un I think they did communion with periodo Coca-Cola extenso and, and y creo que hicieron else. comunión con Coca-Cola y otra cosa. No me acuerdo qué era. We're going to bless Nosotros this bread and this cup and we're going to come Esto to the Lord's a table a together Señor and do this hoy. in remembrance of him. How are we doing our people? Y'all ¿Cómo getting estamos? communion? Y'all getting the elements? Los we'll be done in just a minute here. Pursue. This word is very, Esta palabra es muy, I believe, prophetic profética. for us. This word that God Esta gave palabra you. Que Dios nos dio. It's not a pursuit. It's not no going after the enemy in our own strength. No, nothing like that. En, en no es nada así. It's pursuing. Es perseguir out of this place of connection with the Lord, out of assignment from Him. And this word, I believe, is very prophetic. There's some things that need to be recovered. And the word is, you shall surely overtake and without fail recover. Is it a relationship? Is it a loved one that needs to know that you've prayed for to know the Lord for many, many years? What needs to be recovered? Seek first the kingdom of God. But seek first the kingdom of God. Instead, do this. Would you guys mind bringing some of those elements up this way too? You get a chance. Thank you so much. Let's just serve the team too. Vamos a a todo el thank equipo. you, thank you, thank you. Has everybody been served the bread and the cup? Just so you know, there's two cups in your hand if you have it. There's a, the, the one underneath has the bread in it, and the one on top has the cup. Just so you know, it's a package deal here. Lo que es la copa, es un paquetito junto. Oh, I'm so oh, happy we got feliz. real matzo bread Tenemos again. Pan de, de matzo otra vez. You know what I love about the matzah bread? Pan matzah? It's striped and it's pierced. Es flagelado the Bible es says by his stripes 
we are healed. Y, y también es, es pollado. For our transgressions. Entonces, como dice la Biblia, esto what está hecho así en nuestras transgresiones. Lo que Él hizo por nosotros y por mí y por ti es suficiente. Es suficiente. Es más que suficiente. Let's pray Oremos today. hoy. Lord, we sit here in your Señor, presence. nos sentamos aquí en tu presencia. I pray that this Oro table que esta mesa would activate inside of us pursuit atrás, de nosotros, de Lord, that this morning esta mañana, Señor, we would have a new awareness un nuevo of your pursuit of de us. Tu de nosotros. Lord, as we've considered Señor, the things that need to be left las behind, cosas que debemos dejar atrás, Lord, right now en este in this esta, 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 I instante, Señor, to let that go. entrego eso, Señor. You verbalize that with the Lord. Y, y hablo de esto con I el Señor. Down at your feet. Lo entregamos a tus pies, Señor. The Lord, out of y intimacy Señor, with you and connection with you, I, I choose to go after you and I choose to go after the things you call me to go after. Y perseguirte a ti, Señor. You know, as we're going to partake here in just a moment, Ahora vamos a tomar esto en un momento. We're going to bless the bread vamos and the cup. We're going to eat and el drink pan this together. Y y tomarla juntos. But I just want to ask Voy if there's any person here si hay gente que aquí, that maybe for the first time in your life en su vida, you feel something stirring inside of you today or for the first time algo que se está moviendo life, dentro de ti por primera vez en tu vida. Y tú quieres tomar la decisión to Jesus, yes, Para to receive sí the gift Jesús of his y recibir life, his el salvation. De su, de, yes, to begin suyo, de vida y de salvation with God. Que tú este, ser uno con Dios. Maybe you've been away for a long time and, and you want to make a recommitment to re comprometerte on hoy, en este primer día del año. Si ese eres tú, en este momento, no es algo pequeño, es la cosa más importante. If you're here si today, you say, Pastor Caleb, would you pray with Pastor me today Kelo, por favor, ora to make Jesus para yo poder my Lord and Savior, to receive him, a Jesús como to begin a relationship with him? Just raise up one Levanta of those cups today, if that's you, say, that's me, I, I want to pray Quiero today, pray with me to receive para Jesus. I just want to make sure I give everyone Quiero this chance this morning. Que le doy a todos Anybody? La God bless you. God bless you. Dios te bendice. Dios te bendice. He loves you. He loves you so much. Él te ama. He's been seeking you in the room today. Let's raise up the cup. Levanta tu copa. Right here. Thanks, guys. Gracias, God, gracias. Bless you. God bless you. It's amazing. Dios te bendiga. Pray with me, Oren everybody, conmigo. out loud. Lord Jesus, Señor Jesús, thank you for your body. Gracias por tu cuerpo. Broken for me. Quebrantado por mí. Thank you for your blood. Gracias por tu sangre. Shed for me. Derramada por mí. Forgive my sins. Perdona mis pecados. Come into my Entra life. En mi vida. I receive you, Te Jesus. Recibo, Jesús. As my Savior. Como mi Salvador. As my Como Lord. Mi Señor. As my Como King. Mi Rey. Change me. Cámbiame. And teach y me. Y To live for you and to walk with you. Por ti y la en que tú in Jesus' en name. De Jesús. Amen. Amen. Lord, I thank you for each person that lifted their hands today. Lord, I celebrate with them. Angels in heaven celebrate. Angels in heaven celebrate over you. Young man, young woman. They celebrate over you today. Because in that Porque moment, the Bible says, whoever calls on the name of the Lord is born of the Spirit. Que They're born que from above. Señor, Let's stand to our feet today. Vamos a de Now, pie hoy. for those of you that lifted your hand this si morning, after we do communion and as we're singing, cantamos, I want to invite you to make your way over underneath this wreath right here pared, where dice, Pastor Dave is in the red shirt and Johnny who did the offering and Liz who's there in red they're going to be there to pray with you guys today but Father right now we take this bread and we bless it we thank you for your body again broken for us Lord we thank you for the table that you set before us in the presence of our enemies Lord I thank you for the word that you gave that says about Elijah that he went on the strength of that bread for 40 days and nights Lord, I pray for a new Oro, strength Señor, and a new grace released in your people dar, this morning. Señor. As we Mientras do this in remembrance esto, of you, let's take this cup. Este 
vamos para esse quarto. Father, we thank you for this Padre, te damos gracias por esta copa. This new covenant. Este pacto nuevo. It's your blood that washes que over es tu us. sangre que la, nos lava. It washes us white que as nos snow. lava y nos deja blancos como la nieve. Says, Though your sins be as scarlet, I will wash que them. Nuestros pecados white que son rojos, tú los lavas, Señor. Lord, we thank you that this blood is not like any other blood. Porque tu sangre no es como ninguna blood otra sangre. It's not the blood of bulls and goats of repeated sacrifice. No es como la sangre de ningún sacrificio, Señor. Es un trabajo cross, completado en la cruz que fue hecho por nosotros para poder redimir nuestros pecados, Señor. Yo obro hoy, Señor, que tú puedas ver las decisiones, Señor, que tenemos que tomar ahora, Señor. Te queremos perseguir, te damos gracias por esta copa. Gracias por todo lo que has hecho por nosotros. Gracias por la cruz. Gracias por quien tú eres. Te damos gracias por tu amor, Señor. Tomemos la copa. Thank you, Lord. Gracias, Señor. Let's just give him praise right Alabémoslo now. ahora. Let's just give him Vamos praise. a alabarlo ahora.